There is no friend as loyal as a book. Wrote his first These words novel, were once said also by the extremely talented not only Ernest was Hemingway. His first novel, but it was Hemingway would end up writing countless short stories and seven Secondary novels over his lifetime, the old man with several scene. more published the novel after his death. Focused primarily on the aftermaths of Hemingway the war. Hemingway had many accomplishments he commented on the throughout his lifetime, behaviors of one of which would of course be winning the Nobel Prize in Literature, and one of the biggest awards an author could ask for. Within the 1920s, Hemingway had many other accomplishments. Of the war, one of which would be his novel titled A Farewell to Arms. This was one of those novels that just related to everyone at the time period. It was about a soldier during World War I and was overlaid with a captivating love story. Hemingway once said, Never think that war, no matter how necessary, nor how justified, is not a crime. Having first-hand experience with the horrors of warfare, Hemingway felt it was necessary to spread the need for peace throughout the world. One last accomplishment of Hemingway's that is often overlooked is that he was an ambulance driver for the Red Cross in Italy during World War I. Hemingway had many themes within his 1920s novels, however there was none more provident than him pointing out all the loss and destruction war caused. Another theme Hemingway continuously pointed out within his novels was the fragileness of one's masculinity. He played no part in telling women what to do, nor feeding the frail man's ego. Each and every one of Hemingway's pieces can be used as a window to the time period it was written in. He always wrote the truth, even if it was a bit harsh sometimes. He and F. Scott Fitzgerald were the two greatest writers of the 1920s and will forever be recognized as a part of the time period. Hemingway became a very wealthy man in the 1920s, but he never let that influence him. He may have been a bit extravagant in some adventures that he had, but he never let his wealth go to his head. You can see throughout his novels that his ideas on what is right and what is wrong stay the same. One possible present-day Hemingway could be John Green. Both Hemingway and Green have a darker sense of storytelling, but they often more or less sugarcoat it with some sort of love story. Many people within the 1920s were very fearful of change. However, Hemingway never got caught up in that kind of stuff. He believed in living in the moment and reflecting on the past, never fearing for the future. As the jazz age came to a close, Hemingway continued to write and inspire. Hemingway continued to write after the 1920s and published many more amazing short stories and novels. After receiving great wealth from the old man in the sea, Hemingway and his wife decided to tour the world. During his adventures, he survived two plane crashes with just minor injuries. As he got older, he began to become depressed. At points when he had previously been the life of the party, now he was completely despondent. He began looking much more like an 80-year-old than the 60-year-old he was. No matter what he did, nothing could conceal the fact that there was something seriously wrong with Hemingway. On July 2nd, 1961, Hemingway selected his shotgun from his basement and shot himself in the head. If I were to teach someone one life lesson I learned from Ernest Hemingway in the 1920s, I would only teach them that peace is always better than war. This was Hemingway's main focus all throughout the 1920s.